This is the demonstration of the REST destination for Task Factory. The REST destination is used to send data to a particular REST API. In our example here, I'll be taking data from a flat file source that is just delimited data, and I'll push it to a REST destination. In our case, it'll just be a fake REST destination that will take in three columns. And then, this is optional, you can choose to convert the output, which the only output that I'm going to take out is the execution results. So that way you can make sure that your calls went through correctly. Here are the columns in my table. The REST destination is set up the exact same way as the REST source, except for the use of variable replacements. So you'll go to your endpoint, and each time that this REST destination is called, it will call this particular endpoint. So if you have 10 rows, in our case, it will call this REST API 10 times. So in our case, we have three columns, and the name of those columns will be here. If you don't know the name of your column, you can type in curly brace, curly brace, and it will show you a list. You can choose headers and valid status codes. For any status code that you put here, it will treat it as a valid status code. Any other status that it receives will be redirected via error handling. In our case, it will fail the component, but you can also choose not used, ignore failure, or redirect row. You can also add status codes here by using the pipe symbol. Let's say you wanted to choose 408, you just do it that way. You can also test the API. As you can see, the variable replacements are here, and you can even type in dummy values to make sure that it's working. If we didn't do that and test the API, we can see that my result is an error that's saying it has a duplicate value of name. But in the request, you can actually see the request that was sent, the endpoint URL, the headers, and the post body. As you can see, it did send that column replacement rather than the actual column values. So for name, we can just put in a particular value, There are the value replacements. Now I'll be converting that execution results into a W string. I even have a data viewer here so that we can view it. Here are the converted execution results. And we can see that every one of those went through correctly. This has been a demonstration of the REST destination from Task Factory. For more information, you can go to century1.com or visit our support website at support.century1.com. Thank you.